thanks, Tony. I really appreciate it. As Tony mentioned, my name is Jeremy Stabmuller. I'm a senior manager for education at Autodesk. Um, I've spent 25 years as a technical manager in the design and manufacturing software uh, industry uh, across many different companies, and I'm thrilled to talk to you. Um, just uh, so you're aware, we, we want to throw up our safe harbor statement. Uh, Jamie and I are very excited to talk to you about what we have to offer and what our futures and strategies are. As part of that, we want to throw up safe harbor to say, hey, look, those things can change, but we're all about transparency and being partners in this business. And so we want to share as much as we can, as often as we can. So um, today, uh, Jamie Perkins, uh, our director of learning strategies, strategies, excuse me, at Autodesk and I would like to talk to you about shaping the future of design and manufacturing and specifically distance learning and the tools needed for distance learning. I'm gonna lead off with a few minutes about global trends and the effect of the pandemic on manufacturing as a whole. And those have brought emerging needs to the manufacturing sector with the relevance of cloud, automation, and AI that have changed our world. With the emergence of the global pandemic, these trends have a new importance for you and your students. And I'd like to talk about those challenges. We're living in unprecedented times with massive changes and disruption at a global scale. But with this disruption comes changing perspectives and consequently new opportunities. So for those of you that are familiar with Autodesk, you're probably aware that our mission is to deliver tools that make help people make a better world. Um, we help our customers design and make anything from skyscrapers and smart cars to bridges and blockbuster movies. Chances are, You've touched, experienced, or seen our technology being used to define everything around us. Autodesk is unique in our industry in that we are so broad in our scope of 3D design and the tools that both the commercial world and the students can consume. There are over 7.5 billion of us living here on Earth. The global middle class is growing faster now than at any time in history. And by 2050, there will be 10 billion of us. And two-thirds of us are going to live in cities alone. And in this new world with distance learning and changes that come from that, that's an even more impactful number. With this increasingly urban population comes greater demand for almost everything from more food, water, housing, the products that we use every day, transportation, infrastructure, energy, you name it, more is inevitable. But, but more demand doesn't guarantee more jobs. It doesn't guarantee more food will be available or growing affluency to pay for all of that. The scale doesn't maintain linearity indefinitely. We don't just grow and we have more. We have to do more with less. In fact, as we make more things for people, we increase the potential for a negative impact on our world. So the more we make, the fewer resources we have left. Less limited natural resources, less skilled labor to go around. Manufacturing construction already face skilled labor shortages. So less is a reality that we must face. So how do we make and build all that humanity needs while balancing this with less negative impact, less depletion of resources, less waste, carbon emissions, less harm to our communities? We, we've, we are subject to so many external factors. How do we prepare ourselves to deal in this new world? We cannot continue as we are today. We need to produce more products and buildings to serve a growing population. And we need to do it with less negative impact on the planet. We need to do it smarter. We have a capacity issue. And we must rethink the way we make things. And this is a massive challenge. It's also the biggest education opportunity we've ever had. So how do we in the education community prepare our students for this? The global skills gap represents a looming crisis across all industries that Autodesk serves. And you are here to help us address that. This year, it's projected that up to 95 million workers will lack the skills needed for employment in advanced economies. And I want to be clear, this was our position for years now as we build out and build data for this. And we've been building Autodesk for this. In fact, 2.4 million or 53 out of 100 open positions may lie vacant due to a skill shortage in the U.S. manufacturing industry between 2020 and 2028. 53 of 100 positions that there's nobody to fill them. Our customers face retiring workforce, ever emerging technologies, stiff competition for qualified talent because it's about the skills. It's about the skills necessary for these jobs. That's the skills that you give them as educators. 
productivity issues with the retiring workforce and an ever-changing future of work. The education community is critical to solving these challenges. And that is why Autodesk has been investing for years in education. All Autodesk software and learning materials have been free to students and educators globally for over a decade. This isn't new to us to be able to provide and support our educator channel, and that will continue. The next generation represents a real opportunity to address this skills gap. Generation Z, roughly defined as those born after 1995, are a global population of 2.52 billion people, a larger cohort than the millennials. They are the first truly digitally native generation. They grew up with this. They were born with it. They were never known any different. They're tech savvy. They're highly curious and they're resourceful. But the world around them is also changing faster than it ever has. In fact, 65% of the children entering primary school now will hold jobs that currently don't exist. So we've been talking about this future of making and building our cloud platforms and transforming what Autodesk is with our customers and educators, preparing them for a future that'll look very different from today. But let's, let's be clear, few of us predicted a global economy that would be shut down by the coronavirus pandemic. So while we're on a great path and we've got tools, things have changed. Once reliable suppliers are unable to fill orders, forcing companies to find new sources for parts. Processes that rely on manual work and interactions, they're excessively cumbersome now, and work, especially that workers are remote. Non-existent collaboration strategies have left many companies crippled. 2020 has been a wake-up call for us all. So we have tools, we have lots of things, but we can provide a lot more. So Autodesk's direct response to COVID-19 is to leverage the collective skills, resources, and knowledge of the company to assist our customers. And make no mistake, while all of our tools are free to educators and students, you are our customer. You are who we are trying to enable to be successful, to provide these skills to our customers, to our future customers in the commercial world. But we're looking across three timeframes to help these customers and have an impact. Response, how can we help the world deal with the immediate needs in healthcare and well-being? the societal and economic disruption. That's right now. Recover, how might we help society and the economy return to some state of normalcy without compromising our health? What do we do to help that? And then resilience, how might we design and build future systems that make us more resilient to the effects of something like this pandemic? While the first two are pressing needs that we're reacting to fast, building resilience requires a longer term strategy. And I wanna focus on that. So at Autodesk, our job is to inspire, engage, and prepare the next generation for an ever-changing future of work and create a talent pipeline to help fill the jobs of the future. To us, that's the definition of long-term resiliency. While our software tools are integral in design and manufacturing, they are one of many tools to be used in conjunction with the skill set that educators are providing. That is why it is critical for us to partner with educators to deliver tools and curriculum and credentials to prepare our students to get a job today and tomorrow. Today's students face many challenges, a lack of awareness of design and construction, manufacturing career opportunities, a lack of skills or connection to those job opportunities and a lack of relevant job ready credentials. As educators, amongst many things, you face outdated curriculum and learning models, disruptive learning technologies, and out of touch policies that lag industry trends. These are all things to deal with. The good news is that step that incorporating STEM in the classroom is increasing, is receiving increased focus. But now under increased pressure due to COVID, there's more pressure, more stress on making sure these things get in. Where can we spend our dollar and how do we spend it most effectively? More than 800,000 schools globally are integrating professional 3D design software into their curricula. We at Autodesk are committed to making that as frictionless as possible, given the new distance learning requirements. We're seeing more adoption of analytics technology, VR, AI, IoT coming to fruition. So as I said, Autodesk has been moving to the cloud faster than any other company um, in the manufacturing space. Deep involvement in the development of rising technologies like robotics and AR, VR, and 3D printing and machine learning uniquely position us to support the education of the future workforce. And the industry has responded to this trend as well. Adopting Fusion 360, Autodesk's cloud-enabled design and manufacturing platform, 
are well over 85,000 paid subscribers to Fusion 360, making it an industry standard. That didn't happen because of COVID. This has been a journey we've been on as we go to change the market. Students, however, as well, represent the largest single customer cohort for Autodesk with more than 8 million registered users in the Autodesk education community. Develop, developing this next generation of designers and engineers represents both an opportunity and a responsibility for Autodesk. We have an obligation to our company, our customers, and our communities to help create and support lifelong learning, the creation of jobs, and preparing the workforce for these jobs.